those faces. I can't wait to see Looking that one. Looking forward to it. Love it every year. Mm -hmm. In the medical world, medicine usually prescribed to help people, but what if music worked even better? As CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez tells us that seems to be the case for people with Alzheimer's and other types of uh, dementia. Doctor. Yeah, that's right, guys. You know, the effect music can have on people with dementia is nothing short of remarkable. But it's different music for every person. Music from their youth or their culture. Now a nonprofit called Music and Memory is helping bring healing music to people with Alzheimer's. I fall in love. Adeline Leon Forty loves music and loves to sing along on her iPod, but not just to any music. The music today is nice? No. Adeline told me she loves Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin and even got a tone-deaf reporter to join in. Better yet, she says the music takes her back to happier times. It makes me feel like I'm in love. My husband, I think of. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. The Cobble Hill Health Center in Brooklyn has been using personalized music playlists on tiny iPods for years to unlock the precious memories of residents with dementia and other cognitive and physical challenges. It's the brainchild of Dan Cohen, founder of Music and Memory. His mission is to train elder care professionals all over the country in how to create and provide the personalized music that can make a world of difference. When you hear music you love, you come alive, you feel good, you interact, you're most social, uh, and it's, it's a big win for the person with dementia and as well as for family. I saw the amazing effect myself. Cuban born Anolfo Castello has advanced dementia and is mostly nonverbal. But after a few minutes of listening to the music of his youth, he started to move to long forgotten Latin rhythms. Something about the rhythm, something about the memory, something about just the, the beats, um, it really gives them a sense of life. And gets them moving again. It gets them moving. The feet, the hands, the head, you know, it gives them, it gets them mobile. Now, Music and Memory wants this program in all 67,000 senior health care facilities in the country. It's already standard care in a number of states. And better yet, it's the sort of thing that can be done at home where most people with dementia are actually cared for. And I've seen this effect myself personally my father passed away with alzheimer's a few years ago and we took him to a cuban restaurant in spanish harlem for father's day lunch and he was always kind of quiet and, and and reserved but they had some live music and i looked over to him and the next thing i know he was like he, came wow. he was starting to move waitress saw it she grabbed him got up and danced uh, oh he hadn't done that in in a long it took time. him right back. Took him right to back. that happy place, it was his right? Music, yeah. It was like his the music. Gentleman, right there. He exactly. was feeling it. Yeah. I love this because it's so simple. Yeah. Right. Harmless too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Can't oh, be fantastic. Good. As long as you don't get the wrong kind of music. You know? <laughs> she, told me, she told me today's music, no good. Right. Play the right <laughs> we get stuff. It. We you get go. it. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Dr. Max.